Hi guys, this is Omega1, and today I'm doing a tutorial on how to do the awesome violin combo. Now, um, the link for the deck profile will be in the description of this video, and the deck profile contains every single card you need to get this combo going off. So, as you can see, we've got a very powerful field here. We've got Wind Up Zen Mains, Violin Omega, and Steel Storm Roach. Um, to equip to Omega, we've got Phylon Tetra, which negates one destruction, well, which prevents one destruction, and Segment, which prevents uh, Omega being targeted by monster effects or trap effects. So even if your opponent top decks a Dark Hole, well, at least these two cards will uh, survive. I'll teach you how to do this combo, it's pretty simple, I'll just tell you what the hand is and what the odds are you get this hand. And we're basically going to abuse a violent element. So, hope you guys enjoy. So first, I'm going to explain um, the hand you need to have, or the cards in your hand you need to have, to um, get your Omega on the field, and to get an awesome combo going off. It's a combo consisting violent element, and of course consisting violent Omega. Now, you're going to need it, at least one of each of these. So, one KS, a Violent Equip, Rhoda, Trident Warrior, or Thrasher, and Cube. Now, this is all very relative because there's a lot of combinations you can use to get um, to get Omega on the field. Because, in worst case scenarios, you can have Prisms in hand and you can just use an Epsilon as a Synchro material. But that rules that Trident Warrior and that makes you also need to have both spheres and deck. But if you're going to use this combo, which I find the best because you will have a Sphere and a Tetra equipped to your um, Omega, you're going to need this. Also, you need to have at least one Sphere and one Tetra in your deck, so that's why I'm playing two of each. Um, so yeah, and Magical Mallet is also really good to recycle them. Now, um, this is pretty basic, but this is a little more complicated, the equips. Since you can search one equip with Cube, um, You've got a lot of combinations. You're in your end hand when you synchro sound with cube. You're going to have two um, two um, violin um, equip cards and one KS. But you can also have in your starting hand two violin equips or a KS and a violin equip. You'll see what I mean because you can search one with cube. So if you've got either this or this, it's fine. But if you've got two KS, that's not good because. Um, you need two equips to get, for one, one equip to constantly have the combo running, and one equip to search element. Now, of course, if you've already got element in your hand and stuff, or you've already got a third equip and you don't really need Q, it's fine. But I hope you guys understand that. So, um, I calculated that to ha you've got 7.5 chance on each draw to have um, a cube or a KS. You've got... 12.5 chance to get either Rhoda, Trine Warrior, or Foot and Thrasher, and 17.5 chance to get uh, a Violin Equip. So they might not seem too good of a percentages, but um, it's not too hard to get the hand. So uh, you can also also use Cyber Dragon in some cases. You know, it's really relative how you want to play it. So that's the hand. Let's see what you have to do to actually get the combo. Okay, so now you guys know what cards you need in your hand to get your uh, combo going off. Um, I've taken some samples, I mean, there's a lot of different possibilities, I know, but I've taken Trident Warrior, Violon Cube, Rod of Silence KS, and um, Violon Material. So, um, I'm going to just basically start off and see what happens. So, you're going to first go into a um, level 7 Synchro. So, you're going to summon Trident Warrior and use its effect to special summon a cube. Um, now you're going to Synchro. This is a grave, by the way, guys, if you didn't notice. This is a grave. You're going to summon Sigma. Now, cube will allow you to fetch an equip. So, we'll fetch Segment or well, any equip. Just remember, it doesn't really matter what equips you fetch. Um, just bear in mind if there's certain equips you still want to have in your deck. Um, but it really doesn't matter. Then we're going to activate KS. So basically what KS is doing now, it's going to destroy any equip you equip to it. 
and we're going to use one of these equips to fetch element to special summon tuners and one of these equips to keep the circle uh, going. So let's just use segment um, because it targets sigma, ks destroys it which activates the effect and we're going to fetch element. Then instantly we're going to activate element. Whenever one of your equips is destroyed you can special summon a tuner from your deck. So don't forget you need to have at least one of these in your deck and preferably it's not necessary but these guys are two. So two prison, two cube. Then we're going to activate material. It's destroyed, element goes off and so does material. So material fetches another equip. Element, special summons, etc. Then we're going to do this all over again. Activate filament. For, don't forget you're always going to target your sigma. Uh, sig yeah, your sigma. Because Sigma is equipped with KS. I would advise when you're playing with this deck to have uh, like 10 dices or something to mark uh, which cards are equipped with what cards so that you really note for yourself and your opponent can't like say, yeah, you didn't equip it to that monster and it can wreck your combo. Anyway, so we've equipped it and now it's destroyed. You can fetch another equip card and you can special summon a sphere. Now, you might have noticed we've got everything set for Omega. We've got a Phylon non tuner and two tuners. Um, but we're not yet going to summon Omega. We're first going to use it a few times more. We're going to activate Element. It's going to fetch. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. And then you're going to summon a Prism. Next up, we're going to use it one more destroyed, you fetch and summon another prism. And here it's going to get a little weird. So, uh, yeah, it's supposed to go into your hand, I think, yeah. So, we're going to now summon for Omega because we don't have any space. So, I'm going to synchro summon. KS is destroyed for Omega. All normal summon and set monsters on the field are destroyed, but that doesn't matter. All of your monsters except for Omega are summoned by Element. And then both Sphere and Tetra activate, paying 1000 life points in total, which isn't the problem, to equip Tetra to Omega, and now very important, equip Sphere to Prism. Now why equip Sphere to Prism? Because we're going to use Sphere's effect to swap places with KS. And now KS is equipped to Vylon Prism, and you can keep going. So, we're going to use our equip again, equip it to Prism. So, the equip is destroyed, you can fetch your last equip and summon a cube. And then use your very last equip card, it's destroyed, to fetch material and summon your last cube from your deck. Now this last part um, isn't necessarily, is you can just get Omega 2 and equip Sphere 2 Omega if you want, really want to. But I like this, especially on first turn, to really dominate the field. And now, stuff is going to go crazy for XYZs. We're going to go for, in my opinion, the best thing, especially turn 1, is Steel Strong Roach. Um, people sometimes use I guess, so Emerald to recycle and keep going. Um, I don't think you can do that, but it's not necessary. I think this is strong enough. And we're going to overlay both of these for Zen Mains. Then we're going to use Vylon Matter, just to recycle. You can choose any equip cards you want to recycle. I mostly recycle one of each. And you can either draw a card or destroy a card. It depends if you're going first in turn one or not. And then, we're not done yet. We're going to use Omega's effect to equip um, Sphere to itself. Oh yeah, uh, KS by the way would have been destroyed, sorry. Kind of a mistake. So we're going to equip Sphere to Omega. And so now, I'll just um, say what is equipped to what. Everything is equipped to Omega, except for Element, of course, because it's in a continuous spell. So, we're going to use um, Sphere's Effect to swap places, and then you can choose. I prefer to have um, Final Segment, because it protects your Omega from trap effects, from stuff like Compulsory Evacuation Device. So, um, the only thing that can hit um, Omega right now is Mirror Force, or wait, no, not even Mirror Force, because you've got Tetra. So, your uh, Omega is basically invincible. And if you used Matter and you recycle and you draw an, an uh, equip, it's also really great, because 
you can send these to the grave to negate your opponent's effect. And this, this my friends, this is an amazing field, and um, this is what is going to win you games. Having Zen mains to, well, protect yourself, Roach to stop summons, and Omegas to stop, um, well, effects, this is really win game. So I hope you guys understood it, if there's any questions, or if I did, did anything wrong, or if you found even better combos, just tell me via the com uh, comments. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed making this uh, combo video. So yeah, see you next time. Omega One signing out.